make some more noise for the final of our three referees here. The young man from England, Charlie Costafine. <laughs> so we continue with the men's last 16 here at the 2018 Winmore World Masters and introduce to the stage an Antwerp Open and a Belfry Open finalist. He's the reigning Luxembourg Masters champion from Belgium. It's Super Mario Van Den Berger. And now the next game, we have Mario versus taking well, on uh, Gary Robson or Big Rollo. Um, first time I've really seen Mario was yesterday. I'm very impressed He's with the, the way he played. I mean, 21 tons England's in his game. So Big very solid, Robo. very straight. Gary in my opinion, Robbo yesterday didn't have the best of games. He was up and down, but four 180s in his match. So his big hitting was there. So if he can improve on, on the lax scores he had yesterday, although if you go by averages, Mario with a 91 yesterday, Robbo a very poor 80 by his standards, I think this is going to be a very close game. Thank you'll you see in the crowd there, you've got uh, Roger First Janssen, uh, Mario's compatriot from Belgium there, who Game must on. have felt really unlucky yesterday losing uh, with a, a 96 average. Only to see John Burgess lose afterwards with a, with a 100 average. So, 40. <laughs> what a games of darts last night. So let's see if Mario's as solid as he was yesterday. Ninety-five. One hundred and forty. Already a, a lot more consistency there from Gary, just in the first couple of throws. Ninety-six. Sixty. 100. Good dance then again and then from Mario. 100. A good follow up there from Gary. So he leaves the 161. So he's going to get first chance in this first leg. 60. Gary require 161. So here we go. Treble 20. No? Yep. Treble 20 to start. Just stay there. 60. Mario, you require 150. So, conventional way, treble 20. Treble 18. And double 18 for a 150 finish. Game oh, what a way leg. to start. Mario van den Bogard. Second leg, it's Mario to throw first. Game on. And then again. 140. Oh, 
early days again. Mario is just following on from what he did yesterday. Obviously, his highest finish yesterday was a 161, but he's only at only 150 today. One hundred. Fifty eight. Team Robbo there trying to urge himself on. Ninety five. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Yeah, solid dance from Mario. Yeah, and here's Robo. One hundred and forty. Needs Mario's to try and click 16. in here. So double four for a first set. Game shot Very comfortably set. done. Mario and uh, another good first set average Second there, I think. Set, is that going to gonna, uh, eclipse? Game on. Or not quite the eclipse 104 from yesterday. Only 103.66. Eighty-five. Sixty. Robert just needs to. Eighty-three. A little bit. There's a little bit of lateral drift with Robo's dance at the moment. Whereas Mario is, is very straight. 100. Not quite happening yet for him. Mario again with another ton. Sixty. Mario, you require one hundred and forty one. So ninety one. Again, a nice leap there. All Robert can do is add pressure to it, and again that lateral drift. Seventy, Mario, you require fifty. So treble ten to leave double ten. Game shot. And the first very leg. comfortably done again. Mario Second leg, it's Gary to throw first. Game on. I'm not sure he's missed a, a double yet. One hundred. One hundred. Again, very solid. One hundred. One hundred and forty. Yeah, very nice start there from Mario. Just around the hundred average here for Mario in this game. One hundred and forty. Now, Robbo's finding a little bit of rhythm now. Forty-five. Now, Robbo with at least six starts here on one six one. It's going to go come down and then back up to leave 24. So all Mario can do is put pressure on. There's the first bit of pressure. No. 
Only a hundred. Oh, 140, Gary sorry. So now double 12. Double six. 12. Now. Mario requires 76. Now he's going to go up. Now, right. is he going to stay there to leave? No, he's coming down. Leave tops. 36. Now, must Mario take, must hit for Robbo here. Game shot on the second leg, Gary Robson. I've seen quite a few legs one down on Third double three this week. First. Game on. 97. Now Marios is one of these treble 17 players and he tries to to leave, use the 17 more than the 19 early doors to, to try and leave it even. Ninety-five. Now Robert will be looking to put some pressure on now. One hundred and forty. Now he might be looking down. Yeah, looks at the 19s first and then back up. 99. A lot of sense with that way when Mario goes. I know a lot of people would go treble 20, but it leaves you more options if you go 19s first. 95. That's all about these three darts now. You feel a treble here and it make Mario favourite for the set. 60. Now, you feel he's, hit, he's taken a 150 out already, but you feel if Robbo can find at least two trebles. Like that. Now Mario's got to take the 150 out. So can he do it again? Not this time. 100. So now Robbo, 45 for the break and the set. Double 16. Game Easy the peasy set. there from Gary. Gary Third set, first leg. It's Gary to throw first. From looking from Gary a match Robson. where he looked like he was not doing anything, is one set all where it could have quite easily been two sets to zilt. 140. One hundred and forty. And now Mario back in again with another 140. And there's those 180s that Gary's renowned for. Totally puts a different complexion on this match now. 83. If, if, if you're a stats person, Gary at the end of the first set was on a 78 average. And he's now on a 90 average. That tells you how he's picked it up. And carries on going again. So now, 16 for tops. Oh, he's missed that. And he's just missed it. There's a 180 there from Mario. And uh, no score. I'm very lucky now to be joined by the winner of the first game. Uh, Mario Glenn's here. Well played, Glenn. Thank you. Uh, looks like an exciting time, so. Um. Yeah, you've got to be a bit like John Watson and put it more to your mouth. Oof, 
had to look at Effa Barrio there. So, um, do you know, I was practicing with Gary earlier. He never missed the double. So, to see him doing this right now. Yeah. yeah it, I mean, we all know Robbo is on the circuit. He's one of these players. He's, 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 he's a hot and cold player. Yeah. And if you catch him on the wrong day, he, he, he will blitz you. Yeah, we were having a conversation in the players' lounge, and that's, you know, when he lost the first set there, we were saying exactly that. And, you know, some days you can just be firing. And uh, But the way he was in the players' lounge, he felt really comfortable. And uh, I fully expected him to win this game. So, you know, to see it so nip and tuck right now, it's uh, all boards for a great match. Yeah, I think I think I've, I've been very impressed with Mario. I've, I've, we've, I've only really seen him this season um, in a few events that he's done, and it, I, I think it's been quite impressive. Very solid player. Yeah, Jim Williams was telling me he played him in I think it was Luxembourg or, or the Bruges one, and he said he's a he's a really good player. But you know these players are so good on the floor. You know the, the standard I watched when I was here on Wednesday Thursday was it was incredible. But genuinely, you know, you know for the listeners, it's. Uh, it is a different game on the on the stage, and uh, it's sometimes it's sort of survival of the fittest. And Gary's been there and done it, and to see him doing what he's doing now is uh, certainly, like I say, no surprise to me. Yeah, I, I mean, I know from from personal experience with Gary what he can do. So it's it's I I, I thought it was going to be a hard game, but I, I still thought Gary would come through. So I think it's all. I think if he wins this set. I think we see him. We see the real Gary just flow, and then the next set will go, go by in a, in a we'll See what Mario's made of it. Isn't that, ooh, I wouldn't have gone that way, but here he goes, big 15. Yeah, that leaves in the bullseye. Yeah, nice finish there from Mario. It's probably a sign of confidence that he go bullseye. I think uh, the majority of players there have gone big 20, big 20 bullseye. Yeah, I, I mean, I have a conversation. I mean, we well, we play counter. We have we play the silly games, and um, when I played with some of the players that we go that they go the bullseye first uh, they say it's, it's it's easier to do it that way personally I'm treble 20 140. I think uh, Gary this is the first time I've seen Mario play and uh, yeah, I've only been here a couple of minutes but he's certainly a very impressive player but Gary yeah. that's what it's all about oh yeah he's, he's very straight very gun barrel straight he's not deviating an awful lot I mean 98 average to just over a 90 average in Gary so I think um, you know my first experience of commentary is uh, coming right at the right time the data are fantastic and it's, it's uh, been it's been really good actually uh, although it's been long days it, it's the standard has been amazing I, I would say again what I would say to the people watching this and uh, we all feel fantastic in that back room, but you know, there is something different when you go on the stage. Gary and uh, yeah, he switched to leave a finish there. So double 12 for the hold and the set. And now with Robbo flowing, I, 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 I fear for Mario in this set. I'm also fearing for myself. Obviously, I play the winner of this now, and now the averages are coming up. and. Yeah, I think. I mean, you've got to be happy though. You've had, you've had a 99 and a 97 average, so you know you're playing solid darts. I felt uh, felt great today, Gary, and uh, I'm a very pessimistic player and worry about so much. But today I felt really good. But watching Gary flying right now is uh, yeah, it's going to be a fantastic day tomorrow. And I just ask, you know, just come down to Bridlington. You know, the players need you here. We need the support and uh, some great darts. If, if you've never been to the spa before, it is one of the most amazing atmospheres you will ever get to play darts in. Yeah, Gary's looking fantastic. Absolutely fantastic on the button. Yeah, he's uh, maybe losing the first set was the wake up call he needed. You're absolutely right, Gary. He's straight. Them darts are not deviating, and uh, he looks very, very comfortable. So, what's next on your agenda? Obviously, you've got the Grand Slam coming up. Seriously, I came into the World Masters. I've been doing a lot of exhibition work, and uh, sometimes you worry that uh, your match play is going to have an effect on this. And I wasn't really sure where I was, apart from the fact that the last time I was on a stage was at Celsi, and I was really, really comfortable, and that's what I was relying on. Yeah, but Sal's is your stage, and let's be honest, you've won that many tournaments down there on that stage. Yeah, you must feel is. like home, it near is. as much as your county venue. That's a big seven there, Gary, so that leaves him double top. 
Well, that was a big, big snatch there, yeah. and uh, so Gary should be eating up this 52 now. 20 for double 16. And the break of throw. And honestly, I've been doing the 1 2 1 game with Gary, and uh, I seem to be doing the score, and, and he never missed the finish. And uh, he's took that practice dart onto that stage, and uh, he's looking super comfortable. Yeah, I mean, a lot. I mean, if people have seen his first game against um, Valter, they they would be saying, "Well, where's this come from?" But as you say, is when you get on that stage, especially being a seed on the first day, the non seeds not pl they've played all weekend. All it's all about winning. It's not about an average. It's about winning. And people get too carried away with seeing oh, a hundred average or a ninety-five average. It's all about winning. Yeah, and that's exactly how I felt. Really nervous yesterday. You know, John Boy Walton. Uh, a former world champion and uh, I watched his games on the floor and I uh, was super nervous. Today I felt really good but you know, watch, uh, the guys are doing the job, you know, Casey was fantastic and uh, you know, 100 not average, uh, Scott Waits last night and you know, John, 103 average and losing, you know, the, the boys are doing the best. Oh yeah, um, it, it, it's great. Yeah, and uh, you know, we, we, we're trying to put a good show on for people. The World Masters is a you know, prestigious tournament and uh, we're all desperate to win this again. 83. And are you going to be sticking around to, to watch Jim against Richard? Uh, with Jim being one of your, the, the best mates you've got in darts, I would say. I'm definitely going to watch Eddie Mordica. Uh, Eddie is a, a legend, a, a classic story, this, and uh, that's why we all go to the pub on a Tuesday night and a Thursday night local league. And, you know, Eddie Mordica is just a guy who's done the North East circuit for, you know, for many, many years. And, he said to me this morning, he said, Glenn, I'm absolutely living the dream. So, you know, during my game there where I was beginning to struggle, uh, you know, sometimes you listen to one voice and I could hear Eddie. So I'm certainly not going to walk away from his game. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people miss this. I mean, it's, it's, there is a great bit of a family atmosphere with the players. That what, if they're not playing, they're out there supporting their mates in the, in the crowd. And it, it's, it is really a family atmosphere out there. Yeah, definitely. I've got to say, I'm super impressed with Gary here. And uh, I mean, Mario hasn't done an awful lot wrong. But Gary, I said to Gary, I said, this has been your best year for you know, for a few years now. And he probably told me why and, you know, what's happening in his personal life and everything. And he's very settled. And Yeah, yeah. he's very settled. He's, he's still got his broken finger, though. Yeah, the kind of things I'd like to hear, because we'll sit here watching this game for tomorrow. It's making me more and more nervous. So. 144. I did this earlier when I was uh, really struggling, but uh, it's not a good dart there from Mario. Yes. So double ten for the match. Gary required twenty. Game shots. And there we go. Very, very nice win there for for Robbo. And he goes through now to to face the man next to me, Glenn, tomorrow. Yeah, he looks super excited, and uh, you know I'll relish that game there. It's uh, I've got a great record with Gary, um, but I can't wait for that. Bring it uh, on. Northeast challenge, really, isn't it? Up the borough, Gary. Up the borough. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Glenn. Loved it. Great job, Gary. Great job. Ladies and gentlemen, a great match there. A round of applause for the man from Belgium, Mario van den Boga. But going through to his fourth Winmore World Masters quarterfinal, just 13 years after his first. It's Big Robbo, Gary Robson!